right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to solve a system by graphing. And if I'm looking at these two, these two equations, there's two ways that we can that we've shown how to graph an equation. One is by graphing the slope-intercept form, and the other way is finding the, both the y and the x-intercepts and then connecting them to find the graph. So I'm going to use both ways to go and graph these equations. So I'm looking at this equation. I see that this equation is going to be very simple for me to put in a y form. So I'm going to go and put this over here. 3x plus y equals 15. And if I want to graph an equation using y equals mx plus b form, all I need to do is solve for my y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 3x on both sides. Now I have it in y equals a negative 3x plus 15. And that is in my form of y equals mx plus 3. So therefore, I will be able to graph this equation using my previous forms. This problem over here, I can still solve for y, and it won't be a problem for me. All I have to do is subtract a negative 2x and then divide by a negative 5. However, another form, another way to graph these is you can also find the x and y intercepts and then just connect them. So let's go and do that as well. So if I want to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept, a quick reminder, the x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis. So therefore, your y value is going to be 0. So I'm going to plug in a 0 in for y. So I get 2x minus 5 times 0 equals 10. 2x equals 10. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 5. For my y-intercept, it's where the graph crosses the y-intercept in axis. And therefore, my x value is going to be 0. So I do 2 times 0 minus 5y equals 10. And therefore, it becomes a negative 5y equals 10. Divide by negative 5 on both sides. y equals a negative 2. So therefore, when I'm going to go and graph these, all I have to do is graph on the x-axis 5 and on the y-axis negative 2, and then connect them, and that's my graph. So. I'm just going to sketch a graph. We'll try to approximate our solution. I understand for those of you at home, if you have graph paper, you'll be able to find an exact solution. Um, with here, I'm just going to have to go and sketch these. So the first thing is, uh, let's do our scaling. And I already noticed that this is going to y-intercept at 15, so I'm going to have to go uh, pretty high up on the, up on the y-axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And a quick reminder, when you're solving with the y-intercept form, what you want to first do is, I'm sorry, the slope-intercept form, what you want to first do is find the y-intercept, show us what the y-intercept is, which is our b. So I'm going to go all the way up to 15. And then the next thing is you're going to want to find your slope. And my slope is our m. And notice our slope here is a whole number, but usually when we're graphing it, we want to have it as a, in a fractional form. Well, since it's a whole number, to put it in fractional form, I'm going to put it over 1. Therefore, what this is telling me, if you guys remember, slope can also be read as rise or run. So I'm going to rise negative 3, which would be down, and then I'm going to run, go over 1. And then I'm just going to continue this pattern, down 3, over 1. So roughly my graph is going to be in that form. And then for this one, if you solve for your x and y axis, the same thing. You just go to x equals 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then y equals negative 2. And then all I do is I connect those two points. And I'm not going to approximate where this would be, but I would assume that our, maybe our intersection point is at 6, 1. Um, I just want to give you guys a rough sketch of what our graph should look like. But um, yeah, our intersection points is going to be roughly right there. All right. So obviously with some graph paper, you'll be able to make a, a closer determination. Uh, but I just want to make show you guys, when you're given a system of equations, you can solve for y and graph in this method. Or you can also just find your x and y intercept for each graph and then connect and use this method. So that's how you solve a system of equations by graphing.